Hey everyone, so I am in my studio that I'm actually closing tomorrow. It's unfortunate, I opened it in the beginning of March and then I realized that it was a big mistake and that I should not have a brick and mortar, but we'll talk about that later. We're gonna go through the studio, I'm gonna show you how I set it up. If you're looking to open your own studio and you wanna just look at organizing your studio and just having like basic furniture just to start out, let's talk about that and then we're gonna talk about the business side of things. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna talk to you about the film here. This is one that I put up myself. I got it from Home Depot for about $40. It's kind of surprising how I was able to get it all lined up. I like to have that frost because I don't want anyone to look in, like the privacy. It's less distracting because there is a studio right across from me and I don't like anyone looking in when I have clients in here. And then when you walk in, this is what it looks like. It's quite small, but it's actually quite spacious. There's a lot of room in here. I'm just gonna shove this under. These are the drawers that I have for my tools. This is the Alex drawer unit from Ikea. I bought these from the dollar store and they're actually like really, really sturdy. It's just so I can hang my mirror here. You can see I burnt it here with my curling iron. This is where I keep my shears and my clips and my combs. This is my QR code for Hair Story because I am an affiliate with Hair Story. So whenever a client wants to buy something, I can just show this to them and they can go directly to the website. This is a massive comb that doesn't fit here. So I just let it roam here. Second drawer is where I keep all my capes. I like white capes. This one is from Hair Story. I really like it. It's really strong and the material is really soft and it also is waterproof. I have a couple more that are white, gray, and I have a black one too. I like white a lot. And these are all where I keep all my round brushes, wet brushes, paddle brush, hot tools, and I have clippers here. I don't really use clippers a whole lot, clipper side. And I have hot tools and my mat. And then finally more hot tools and my hair dryer. This is my Gamma Pro. It's my favorite. It's the only thing I use. Super powerful. And I have this curling iron that I just use on a client. I use it on pretty much 90% of my clients. Okay, so this is my retail shelf. When you first walk in, you do see the retail. I like to keep everything that I want to sell at eye, or almost eye level. What I do use for myself in the salon on clients is right here at the top. I have in common. I have some R Co. Color Wow. I also really love hair story. I really love, love, love this shelf. This one is from Ikea. It's about a hundred something. I will put the price up here. Color Wow sells really well. Some hair story, more hair story. I've got a couple of these baskets that I got at the dollar store and I love them for scrunchies or if you want to sell anything extra at your retail space. I got rose gold. They do have yellow gold but I like the rose gold a lot. So I got two of them. Coming over here I do love a crock pot for hot towels. So I do treatments a lot and having a crock pot is really nice. So you want to turn it up all the way to number two and it will start sizzling after like 45 minutes So you want to turn it to the warm. This is my Bluetooth speaker. Love this one. This is Sony It's perfect for the space. I just put my playlist on Spotify and it's just phenomenal. This lamp I got off marketplace I love it. It just adds like a really really nice glow to the space. I leave it on 24 7 I never turn it off. It just adds a little touch. Barbicide, little disinfectant, hand sanitizer and this is my square. This is what I use to check out my clients. So you do have to have soap and paper towel to pass the health exam or the health inspection. So I do have both of those here. This is my back bar basically. All I really, I, I mean I mostly use Hair Story. So I have the Deep Rich and Original. And I do have some Insight products which are from Italy. I'm not like 100% like sold on them. I do like them but I'm not like wowed by them. Hair Story has my heart forever. I have all my treatments down here. So I've got all Plex. I got a really nice treatment from TG and also another nice treatment that I really love from Insight too. Olaplex over here. This is my towel rack that I got from Winners or Marshalls if you're in the States. I believe they're the same thing. And it was about 40 or $50. I loved it as soon as I saw it. I don't like to roll my towels so I like to fold it like this. I think it just adds a little touch to the space. Minus the broom. I feel like the broom makes everything look a little bit tacky but I can't really hide my broom. I have my laundry basket here. I chose to go with this one from Ikea because it doesn't hold mold. I find that whenever you use a laundry basket that's woven, it can get moldy. And whereas with this, it's not going to create mold with this material. This is the sink. Very, very comfortable. I had to get this from a supplier because when I first came in, there was um, nothing here and it was really
really painful on the neck. I grabbed this ottoman from Ikea. I think it's about $100. Clients love it. They love kicking the bag, especially if I'm doing treatments. They just want to like chill and relax. This is my ring light that I got from Amazon. I will link this below. This has been a lifesaver for me, especially if I'm doing reels. It comes with this amazing like stand for your phone and you can move it around. It's very secure and your phone won't move around. So I actually use it for my reels if I'm doing a live and you can switch the light to blue white yellow warmer very blue white very yellow and then this is like an in-between so I use this to take photos right here so I put my clients right up against the wall and I take their picture this is my stool I actually got this on Amazon too it's too low for hair generally if you're a hairstylist you're gonna use something a little bit higher than that this one doesn't go any higher than that but it was during the pandemic and everything else was sold out so I've been using it it's okay it's not my favorite I got the mirror also from winners which is also like Marshall's and I love it because it's arched I like that the frame is nice and thin and black so that it goes with everything also the color of the wall is simply white by Benjamin Moore beautiful color it makes everything look so much brighter when I first moved in this place looks so dark and dingy and I was like oh we're gonna need more light we're gonna need a chandelier but then we chose simply white it literally just brightens up this whole space even my clients say that it feels like sunlight in here all right let's look here into the drawers the gloves and masks and I love these shower caps for my treatments this is my apron for color I don't do a whole lot of color I have this little tool to open up color scale also from Amazon I love this one it was the cheapest one I could find and it works great I think it's a kitchen scale this silver marker is great to write on my shades EQ and this is from the dollar store literally the best investment ever if you're a colorist you're probably gonna have more things than I do this is my special color cape for clients when they come in it's very thick and sturdy so this is what they wear if I'm doing color on them so I don't stain you know their clothes or whatever and this is all my color stuff shades EQ I've got the whole book I love the Joyco uh, permanent color it, they're absolutely amazing they make the hair so shiny and gorgeous I also have some Joyco toners here shades EQ and I got these from the dollar store I like them because they're beige they actually stack really well with the cart that you get from Ikea so I actually used to have them all stacked when I was renting a chair previously they fit really really nice and they look really clean and sleek on the sides stain remover and stain protection and all my developers over here I had a lot more tripods and have my um, remote it's just random things that I don't really need oh look I have another brush here that's a bamboo brush I've got some stationery so you can really fill this with whatever you want over here I've got alcohol and band-aid because I do tend to cut my fingers when I'm using the razor once in a while and then I have an Ikea bag because I'm always taking things home I'm doing laundry or whatever and I need to grab a lot of things so I will use my big Ikea bag and then I've got extras here this is an air purifier Olaplex paper towel tissue more towels I've got extra hairspray my bridal kit is here too all my bobby pins and everything in here and then I've got my lovely mannequin heads up there so like all this bridal stuff here and I have these two that I got from the dollar store these are like salad dressing cups and I use that during the pandemic to deliver toners to my clients I think that's about it and it's always nice to have some plants because this place really does need a lot of greenery even if it's fake it's all good you can add fake greenery it just adds a little bit of spice in here thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it make sure you leave a comment and a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you would like some more hair content